Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for joining me I'm Katie and we've got a scroll box today It seems like forever since they sent me the email telling me it was being dispatched to actually receiving it It's taken over a week which isn't like scroll box now I do have a bit of a theory as to why but you will have to stick around until the very end of the video and all will be explained. Anyway let's get on with the box shall we. So this month's featured artist is SP0 and they're a UK based illustrator and I'm getting a graffiti vibe with the print we've got this month. And I was really 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 pleased with the contents. We have a Posca box. Yes! We have three of the 5mm Posca pens in the pastel colours and they are in lavender, coral pink and aqua green and we also have two 3mm ones, one in black and one in white. Now I do happen to have a few Posca pens knocking about and you'll see this in Inktober and I decided to swap out two actually three opened ones for unopened ones so I don't have to unnecessarily have them on the go. Also included is a Faber-Castell Eco Pigment Liner in a 0.6 and the Steadly and Mars Lumograph in black and that is in a 2B. And we've also got a whole pad of Gecko Freestyle paper in A5 and that's 10 sheets and it feels like what the print of this box has been sent to us on it the paper feels like that so it does assure us that it's not going to shred with the Posca pens but we will see. This month's scroller challenge is character creation so I kind of went back to a character or two that I created earlier this year in May for Mermaid. That's right, Claudia and Finley are back and they are not in their fishbowls this time. They are riding a wave and enjoying their freedom. I took a lot of influence from this month's print and I wanted to change up my style a little bit just to see if I could. It's not really a style I normally go for and I just thought it would just add a really nice fun twist to the fun colours we've had. Now I do have a confession to make, I did pencil this out in a regular HB pencil because I know the Lumograph black pencil, it doesn't quite erase as well and I am quite heavy handed and I know I can lift up a normal pencil compared to that, so that, that's the explanation why. But I did go over that in the Faber-Castell pigment line and it, it's, a, it's quite a nice pen. I don't have many of these specific ones. I just really have the Pitt pens by Faber-Castell. And if I be really honest with you, it didn't particularly perform any differently. So maybe it's a more eco-friendly version to the Pitts. Who knows? It was a nice pen though. I really liked that big splashy wave that came out of the box on the print this month and I wanted that to be a bit of a main focus so I sort of used the similar shapes and wrapped it around my figures in a different way. I also really liked the goofy face on the unicorn on the print and I wanted to make sure that Claudia had some of that and I think it worked really well, it just makes the whole thing look really fun. Now by going over my original line work, yes I am losing all of those lines, but you know it's me, I, I go over it at least about a gazillion times. However I did find it useful because some areas I didn't need to go over and I think if I used the pencil, the actual one that came with it, I just have a feeling it might have contaminated the pens. And by this point I'm pretty precious over them so I, I, just, I just don't want that, I just don't. So I made that wave multicoloured just like the one of the illustration and this coral pink was absolutely perfect for Claudia I just really really love it. Now as for Finley yes her scales matched up because she was a blue mermaid however I didn't have a blonde coloured mark pen so I thought oh what the heck let's just give her this crazy rainbow-esque hairstyle why not it just looks more fun and it does and i really like it it just adds a bit of texture i guess to an area that's very blocked off and i know at this stage it looks very bizarre all partially lined but once i start using the black posca pen and bringing everything out 
it just completely transforms it. So let's talk about the paper a little bit. As I mentioned, it had the same texture as, I guess, the print. I am referring to the print of this box quite a lot, aren't I? But I like the print and the paper that came in this box felt like what you would print on, I guess. I'd say it was quite similar to the Canson The Wall paper, not wallpaper, that I use for my marker work but it's not as opaque so it'd be quite interesting to see how it reacts with alcohol markers and I might actually try and sneak using this paper in Inktober because I'm not quite as organised as you might think I am. Now I did notice with using the Poscas on this paper yes if you are a little bit too abrasive with it it does ever so slightly shred the paper but look how smooth that lay down is. If this was a regular cartridge or if it's a push, even Bristol board, I would have all these horrible streaky marks. So I actually think this paper is a win. Is it perfect? No, but I actually think this is probably the best paper I've used Posca's on. So I'm quite happy with that and it is quite a nice paper. So after the completing the swirls on the waves, it's time to add some tonal details everywhere. And for Finley's body, I just carried on with that scale pattern just to add a bit of shadow, I guess, and to continue with that texture. I used a lot of broken flowing lines as well for her hair, and I really like just how much movement's going on here. I actually have really enjoyed working in a different style, and I think just for the fun of it, I might just play about a bit more with this, just for my own fun, really. I, I don't know why I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much, but I, I really have it. I felt I felt like a child again, drawing cartoons like I used to, and, and this was really good for that. Are any of you guys big fans of Posca pens? Are they your go-to material? Let me know in the comments below. Actually, this has just reminded me, one of my viewers and somebody who I subscribe to, the channel is called Sophie Legay, and I hope I've pronounced that correctly. She works a lot with Posca pens and she can offer you some nice videos showing what she does with them. So let's so show some love and support for Sophie. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. So be sure to follow it and show some love. Anyway, that is the roundup for this month's box. I think it's been a good box. It's taken a while and I did end up using that pencil just to go around my signature. As far as using it with the materials, it didn't really quite go, but I suppose to map things out, it would have done. Anyway, as always, thank you all very much for watching and I do hope you've enjoyed this month's scroller box. If you have, be sure to give me a like and if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. Okay, if you've made it to this part of the video, well done. I noticed my... Uh, Address label had a customs declaration form underneath it. These are made and distributed in the UK and I think this might have been on a little holiday beforehand. And what do you think of that, eh? Anyway, bye!